Hello again for USCF Sales. This is Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. We've been looking at search functions in Chess Base 11 over the last few videos in our series. We're going to get back to that, but we have to take a detour first. In order to explain one of the search functions to you, I'm going to have to show you what it searches for and explain what that is. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to take a little detour. This won't actually be a search function, but it will explain something you need to know to understand the search function that we'll cover in the next video. What we'll do, first of all, rather than get into a, a long discourse on it, let's just show you. We'll open up a database and open up a game and play through some moves. And that's pretty good right there. We're looking at an Evans Gambit here and uh, from the 1800s of course, from 1830. And there's a lot of different ways we can annotate games in chess base. That's one of the great things about this software. It gives writers, whether you're writing for print publications, whether you're writing an article, whether you're writing for the web, whatever you're doing, you can annotate a game six ways to Sunday with the software. There's an interesting annotation form that if you've looked at some chess based discs in the past, you may have run across and not really understood it. It's called medals. That's what this annotation form is called. It's called a medal. And the way you create one, the way you put one in a game, which is what I want to show you here, is you right click on a move, go to special annotation in the pop up menu, and go to the first command, which is set metal. We'll click on it. You get a nice menu, and what you have is a whole bunch of different options that you can select to basically call a reader or viewer's attention to a particular point in the game. We're looking at an open opening tabia here in the Evans Gambit. Now, I'm not going to say this is a model game. Okay, it's been years since I played the Evans actively, and I don't remember it all that wonderfully well. But let's just say I was an annotator, and I wanted to call the reader's or viewer's attention to this particular point in the game, this tabby of this opening setup. I could click on Model Game Opening Plan, click on that box, and what we see is a dark blue bar appear at the top of the medals window. And you can assign more than one medal to a game, or to a move, so what I'll do also is click with attack. It is a gambit after all. White is trying to start an attack. And now you see there are two colors here. Dark blue for the opening plan model game. Yellow for with attack. We click OK. And what we see now is these two medals have been assigned to this particular move. Knight C3. What a medal is simply is an annotation form that to call the reader's attention to a particular point in a game. But what makes it even more interesting is that they're fully searchable. That's what we're going to look at in the next video. But let me show you where, where you go from here if you do decide to put medals in a game. Or let's say I'm an annotator creating a chess-based disc and I want to use medals. I've assigned these two medals to this point in the game. What I do then is I come up here and I go to save and replace. What I'm going to do is replace the original game in the database with my freshly annotated version. I click replace. I don't want to change anything in the header, so I just click OK. And after a moment, what we see now is we see my name has appeared in the header of the game as an annotator. But more important, let's come down here, because I'd like to show you the game list. What you see in the game list, the game list has changed. Here's the names of the player, the header information. But over in this column where it says medals, we now have that little yellow and blue medal. What that does is it shows someone in the game list, right in the game list, that there's a point of interest in this game. It's actually meant to catch your eye. As you're scrolling up and down through, through a, a database of games, if you see that medal appear, if you see a colored, couple colored bars appear in the medals column, that means there's something interesting about this game. You should stop and look at this game. So it's an annotation form that an annotator can use, number one, to call your attention to a point in the game itself when the game window is open by appending these medals to this particular move, saying this is a fine opening setup and white has an attack, is what these two medals mean. But also, when you're just browsing a database, when you see something appear in that medals column, when you see colored bars appear there, what that means is that there's something interesting about this game. You should double click on it and have a look. 
That's simply what metals are. It's a visual cue to the reader, to the database user, that there's something interesting about this particular game. And the different colors of metals correspond to different strategic and tactical motifs. Let's go back to the game and I'll show you a little bit about that. If we right click and we select special annotation and set metal, notice, of course we can take them away and get a blank bar again. We can select tactical blunder, is a black, that's what the color black signifies. End game is a dark green. Strategic blunder is a gray. Sacrifice is bright scream and red. If there's a novelty in the game, there'll be a different color blue, kind of a medium bright blue. Best game of a tournament, kind of an ochre color. Decided the tournament, kind of a purple. So there's different colored uh, kind of flags, medals, for different strategic and tactical motifs in a game. So all the different colors mean different things. But what's most important about this is that these are fully searchable. You can go into a database that is annotated and if there are games with medals, you can search for medals in a database. Search for particular games that contain particular medals. That's what we're going to show you the next time around in our next video. But what I needed to do before we got to that search was explain what medals actually are. So hopefully I've done that. Hopefully I've cleared up some of the mystery. Also, if you're a user of Chessbase's Mega Database or you have some issues of Chessbase Magazine that you purchased and you've seen these colored bars in a game list, Hopefully that has cleared up the mystery of what these are. These are games that contain interesting points that an annotator wants to call your attention to by the use of these colored bars. It makes like a little flag here. And that's exactly what it is. It's a flag. It's a signal that calls your attention to that game that has something of interest. These little signals, these medals, are searchable. And we'll look at that in our next video. Until then, for USCF Sales, this is Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.